Hi everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome and welcome back to Angela's Fashion Mix. Thank you for being here. I hope you've been well since our Wednesday video. Today I'm showing a beautiful bouquet of flowers. If you like flowers, you may like this. And also a vlog. So I've been out and about a little bit in the past few days. So just kind of want to show you what's out there and what my looks are being created from today. So if you like flowers, you may like this. I like flowers. The calla lily is my favorite, but I also like roses. So with this opportunity from the brand, I thought I would share this with you for the upcoming holiday, or if you want to do what I'm going to do, which is put it here in my closet. So if you've got a great space and you're just looking for a little something, this might be a great idea for you. And it's called Rose Forever. Rose Forever was launched in 2019. And what they do is create designs from roses to make these roses last for a year. So that'll be an interesting process to watch. The materials are vegan materials and they are allergen free. There is a choice of materials. I went with the suede. You also have the option of velvet and there is a variety of shapes. I like the square, but I thought the round might work a little bit better here because this is where they're going to live for a bit. So when the top is removed, it actually can become the holder for the box. And this is what they look like up close. And they're also scented. This particular style is 16 roses. So you do have a variety of different rose counts. I think it goes up to 36. So red's not your color. There's white, there's yellow, there's pink. There's a variety of different colors, including black. So um, their concept was inspired by Parisian style. So this is Rose Forever. So take a look at that. It may be a great gift. And also there will be in the description box a link for $25 off if you make a purchase of the roses. Also check their website for upcoming deals. There are specials run periodically, and with Black Friday coming up, you may be able to find something that suits your needs there. So that is Rose Forever. So what the blog is all about today, I've been out and about just kind of looking at things just to see what's out there, see what's trending in terms of colors and different things of that nature. Always looking for something that's going to be versatile, as you know. So what I'm showing you today is a couple of shawls. I like shawls, I like ponchos, I like all of that that's going to keep me from wearing a coat. On one look, I am doing brown with charcoal gray here in the pants. This is a heavier knit pant. So to this, I am adding my first option here. I love this. I saw it and I knew I had to have it. I love the fur detail. It is going to dress this look up quite a bit with the fur there. I love the color combos. This is what the back looks like. And that is very nice. Working with the brown and the charcoal gray for one look there. Now, with the charcoal gray, you can also do just a gray turtleneck and create the look there. Now, I showed this dress I actually had this dress on. This is the little tunic. I had it on a few videos ago. And with this dress, we can also work this particular wrap. So this is going to be a way to elevate just a basic, very simple dress. And what we're going to do with this is add some tights for warm. You definitely could put a turtleneck under here if you chose to do that. Of course, the temperature dictates. And with that, we're also going to be adding a casual look as well as a dressier look. Other option I found is this style. Still with the fur, but this time the fur is coming down the entire front here. I love that. It's dressing it up a bit You're in terms of your style. And you've seen these two pieces before. 
off-white. We love off-white in the fall and winter. And we're putting all that with this to create that look. And the other one will also go with the off-white to just brighten it up a little bit. We can see how that's all going to work there. So we're doing a couple of things with that. And of course, you can do brown with the off-white and pull this look together. That is also a possibility. It's a lot of versatility when it comes to the wraps. So with the shoes, I am doing the long boot for more casual. I am adding the suede with the leather look there in a heel. And another possibility with the gray. This has a little bit of a velvet feel that's very nice with the lower heel there. And with this one, I'm adding a pair of gloves. I already had these. So that's going to be nice with this look. So we'll see those as well. So those are the looks we're creating today. And I hope you enjoy the pieces and can find a way to maybe incorporate some of the color schemes into your wardrobe to create new looks. Also, if you love Christmas, there's some Christmas here today. It is my favorite time of year. I love being out and about and I'm getting prepared to start my own Christmas decorating. Normally I wait until the day after Thanksgiving. I'm probably gonna start a little bit earlier this year because I'm busier this year, but it is my season. And also coming up in the next couple of videos, I'll be showing some holiday looks. It's time to start thinking about that for those events and things that are going to be popping up here and there. And you want to be ready. You want to be ready to know what we're going to be wearing, whether it's casual or really dressed up. We'll have some options. I will see you in the next video. Bye. So I'm starting the looks off here in off-white as the ground. I've added the brown boot with the faux leather and suede. And the thing I love about this shawl is that the fur centers the front. It creates a focal point. And for me, the detail on the sleeve is an add. It ele elevates your look. And great today today to just grab it just to throw on top of jeans. That is also a great option. Just makes you feel a little more pulled together. And for this look, same off-white outfit. And I love the color combinations on this shawl. I love that the color and the sleeve are matching as they do in looks like this. I think that just gives an elevated feel. And it's also going to work great with jeans as well as a variety of other styles. Can't go wrong with the shawl. It's just a great look for me. It's easy. It's easy to grab and it's very versatile for casual or for a more elevated look like in this look. I love the versatility of a shawl. I think it just can be used in so many different ways. It's great for fall to easily transition into winter. Just depending on what you put under it. it it's very casual in instances and it's dressy in other instances just depending on where you're going throw on some great accessories a great boot a great bag and then you're all set easy dressing here i've changed the boot from the brown to the gray and that just Put in as an option if you didn't want to do brown the grays will work very well off of this particular print i absolutely love this shawl and adding the gloves in with the detail there with the fur i was happy to see that it matched like i thought it would and i absolutely love this look Still in keeping with the charcoal gray and the boot, I uh, went back to the original shawl with the fur down the center. These colors are working nicely together. It is a great compliment. Again, 
a lot of versatility and a lot of style. These shawls are just an easy way to add style to a basic look. Here I changed the top from the charcoal gray to brown. So now all of the colors are working there with the brown. I love the gray and I just think it gives you just a more um, dressier look, a little bit dressier look and the detail there with the buttons on the sleeve I think add to that. This shawl is going to get a lot of wear. It's going to be casual, it's going to be dressy and here it is still somewhat casual because of the flat long leg boot. I feel more casual in this but if I need it to it could be very versatile. I've added tights for warmth as well as to pull that lighter color out of the shawl. So easy way to mix the same colors is to just do varying shades of that color and that works here. And for the final, I changed the boot to the heel in the brown. I added the fur hat. I've had it for years and it is so very warm and it is a great compliment here. This is what I envisioned when I saw the shawl and all of this is working together to give me the look that I want. It is very elevated. I think it just feels like you're just going to go somewhere and do something really special. And this outfit is doing just that. I love it. I love it. I love it. So those are the looks that I'm creating with a simple shawl. The shawl does all the work in the outfits. You don't have to do much of anything. You decide your boot and your handbag, your hat, the shawl is going to do the rest. What you put beneath can be casual or it can be dressy or anything in between. It's going to work.